Hey guys, I'm going to show you my favorite products today. Excuse the background noise. My husband's been a wonderful husband in putting up dishes. So if you hear banging and singing, that's him. Uh, but I wanted to show you my favorite products. First off, we always start off with a good primer. My favorite primer is the VX Pro Camera Ready. Now we have two, the Camera Ready and the Strut. Mine's the Prime Camera Ready. It is going to fill in your pores and your lines. You don't want to use your hands. You want to use a brush. And this brush comes in a set of four for about $25. And you just want to put it on your brush and rub it all over your face. It's going to get a good foundation set for your face. Like I said, it's going to fill in your lines, fill in your pores, and get those wrinkles filled in. And when you do this, after you get it filled, put on, you want to give it a few minutes, seconds, to sit on your face to get it to where it gets in those wrinkles and pores so that it has time to get really good in those. Now this is my favorite primer. Do you really need a primer? I think so. I think it's a it, it really does get your face ready for your foundation. Um, again, this is a set of brushes for that come in four. You get your powder brush, your foundation brush, an eyeshadow brush, and a eyeliner eyebrow brush for I think twenty five dollars. The and if you want prices, just comment and let me know prices and I'll give them to you. So while we get that set, my second favorite, this is probably a must have for me, is my eye, uh, eye what, what is, eyelid primer. And I'm gonna use another one of my pharmacy brushes um, to get that filled in. Um, look at that. It's, it's going to last a while. You, this will help to prevent creases. It's going to help make your eyeshadow pop and stay on longer. It will also, if you have blemishes on your face, it can be used as a cover-up. So while we're letting our primer sit, I'm going to put on my eyeshadow eye primer. And you just do it like this. And I think this is like $11, I believe. And this is probably another one of my must-haves. Um... All that I'm showing you today is probably budget friendly as well. Um, if you're on a budget, you can probably get this all within $160 or so, not counting shipping and uh, handling. And I'm guessing on that price um, $160, $170 something like that okay so you see that now also the eye primer can be used as a base on your eyeshadow see the soft pink it can be used as a base for eyeshadow it's an awesome awesome product that can be used so we've got our primer set and I'm going to use my favorite foundation and I put that on with my Kabuki brush. When I started pharmacy, 
I didn't know about a kabuki brush. This is absolutely an awesome tool. You just squirt your foundation on it and get that all over your face and you just dab it. Now we don't want to mess with our eyes um, because our eyes are already fixed. But you're just going to dab it all over your face and get it blended in. You want to dab and not rub because you don't want to rub your product in. And by dabbing, you're not, you're dabbing your makeup in your face, not rubbing it off. I want to make sure you go down your, I need a little more. By using a brush or a sponge, now you can use a sponge, you are not using as much makeup. When you use your hands, it causes oils to get in your makeup, and that put oil, that puts oils on your face. So you don't want to use your hands. That's one reason you don't want to use your hands. Now, while we're talking about brushes, you need to keep them clean. And one reason you want to keep them clean is it will hold bacteria. And we have an awesome product, tea tree soap, that will wash your brushes really great. Um, as well as some other benefits. So look how great that coverage is. Now the VX Pro Camera Ready uh, Foundation is an awesome coverage. It is a full face coverage. It is camera ready so you don't need any filters. And it is for all skin types. And it is just awesome. Look at there. Look how awesome that is. The Kabuki brush is probably about $10, but it's worth every penny of it. And you want to say, well, how often do I clean my brushes? I clean my brushes about once a week uh, and get them good and clean. So the next thing I want to do is eyebrow wax. I found a neat way to pluck my eyebrows, and this is by using my eyebrow wax. This is $28, I think, but y'all look how big this is and how how much this is. It's going to last a very long time and with it you get this wand. So it's going to last. You're going to get your money's worth. You take it and you go up and then you go out like that. And I'm going to do both eyes. Go up and out like that. Okay. Now, I go a step further. You don't have to. I just do this. I take my eyebrow pen brush and I just make sure that they're just double done. That's just me. I just do that. Now then, the trick is for your eyebrow plucking. See how the eyebrow wax keeps your eyebrows in place? Now, you can get your tweezers, and you're able to see now if your eyebrows right there and right underneath need plucking. Now, I've just plucked mine, so it's real easy to see exactly where you need to be pluck, need plucking. And if you're not using your wax, your eyebrows are all over the place and you can't really tell where your eyebrows need plucking. So that's a great way to use your wax and help you with your plucking of your eyebrows. 
I found that just by mistake. It doesn't tell me that with pharmacy, but I found that by mistake, and I liked that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is my concealer. I love the liquid concealer. It comes in several shades. This is the ivory. We have one lighter than this and several darker than this. And I'm going to put it under my eyes. And I'll put it. It can be used as an eye shadow primer if you don't have the eye shadow primer. I'm going to put it there. This is an awesome product. <clears throat> it helps cover up those dark spots under your eyes. Now I'm going to use my sponge, and the sponge is about uh, 7 or $8, but it's awesome. It is great for everything, and you want to keep it moist. You can do it one of two ways. You can use warm water, or I'll use my Time Locker Spray, and y'all, this is an absolute must. Your Time Locker Spray, there are many, many ways to use your Time Locker Spray. I'm going to spray it on my sponge, and this is going to help lock in my concealer uh, to my makeup. It's going to put it in place to where it stays all day. If you see me looking away, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. It's not because I'm trying to avoid you. And then I'm just putting, patting those in place. Like that. And you ask why put concealer on after you put on your foundation. I have found that putting your concealer on after foundation, when you put your foundation on after your concealer, it takes your concealer off. So you put your concealer on after and blend it in and it stays. Now, can you see those dark circles under my eyes anymore? I can't. So there. Now, <clears throat> for my eyes, I've learned that you do your eyes first and then your cheeks and then your lips. Because if you mess up your eyes, you don't have to do your whole makeup. Now, my favorite, there are four, I'll show you, there are four eyeshadow palettes. There are two that have 18 shades, and there are two that have 12 shades. My favorite that if I said, you know, just you have, it depends on your, your taste. I like a lot of neutrals. I would say this is my favorite, the Glam Up palette. It has a lot of neutral shades. I'm not a very um, glamorous, outgoing person. So I'm going, I use a lot of the, the neutral palettes. I'm going to use one of my, this is one of the other brushes out of that set I told you about. It's the eyebrow brush. I'm going to use the, um, y'all, yeah, I'm blind without my glasses. So I'm going to go with, I can't read it, but I'm going to show you this shade, this shade right here. And I'm going to go right at the edge of my eyebrow, eyebrow, eyelid. I'll get it right. Right there. Okay. You want to go from dark, medium to light. So the next shade that I'm going to use is this one right here. And I'm just going to go right above that on my eyelid. Okay. Then up for my light, I'm going to use 
this one right here. It's got a little glimmer, gl uh, shine to it. And I'm going to go right above. Now this may look a little weird right now. But we're going to blend these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other pharmacy eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to just take these and blend. I'm just going to blend all these together. Just like that. You see how I'm doing that? See how these blend together and make one pretty eyeshadow eye. Yeah. See how that makes one pretty eyeshadow eye? Okay. Now, we have on sale right now, if you buy $50 more or of products or more, you can get an eye ink liner pencil uh, for your ink liners to make do eyeliner. I'm not good at yet doing eyeliner. It's not one of my go-tos, so I'm not going to show you that. But I do want to tell you about if you do buy $50 or more, you get this free. So, that's one of your options. My next go-to product, oh wait, my eye, my eye. Mascara. My most favorite mascara is the Limitless. It is going to uh, thicken my eyelashes and just make them stand out. Now, because I met a goal and and Oh, I got this mascara for free. I didn't have to buy it. So as an influencer, you are rewarded with products. And this was one of the products I was rewarded with. I've been rewarded with several. So, there's my eyes. But this is, even though I got it free, this is my favorite mascara. It's the Limitless. Now, my favorite... Are you favorite, in the middle of something? Yes. My favorite um, peak blush is the 3-in-1. It comes with your bronzer, your highlighter, and your blush. And this is probably the most economical way to go about getting your bronzer, your highlighter, and blush. Your first is, I'm going to put on my bronzer, and I'm going to use my uh, powder brush to do that. And I'm going to go right under my cheek line, right here. I'm going to go right under here on my cheek line. And then I'm going to go right on my forehead and just give it a touch of color on top. Then I'm going to take my uh, powder brush, my other powder brush, and get my blush. And I'm going to go right above my bronzer with my blush. Just like that. See how that looks? Okay, my next favorite brush is the two-in-one brush. It has a top, a big top, and a little top bottom. And this is what I use to put my highlighter on. I use the big top to do right above my blush. Right here. And then I give a kiss here, a kiss at the end of my nose, and my cheek. And I use my little brush to put it right at my eyes to give a little sparkle in my eyes. 
So that's the three in one palette. That's a must have. Now for my lips, oh, at this point, you wanna make sure you use your time marker spray and lock in all of your makeup. And this locks in your makeup for the day. Now we have for a lot of lipsticks, um, from matte lipsticks to lip gloss to liquid lipsticks, but my favorite by far, so far, has been the Forever Lips. Um, it has, offers four colors. Uh, I can't see the, the colors, but it's a soft pink, uh, medium pink, uh, purplish color, and a uh, natural color. And I like this uh, pink right here. But I'm going to show you a, a trick. I'm going to do a two color. I'm going to just go on the outside of my lips. Right here. Right here. Now then, I know you think that looks weird. But then I'm going to take my lighter color, pink, and I'm going to fill that in. Okay. Then I'm going to go in and just blend. Isn't that pretty? That ombre effect. So those are my favorite products that I have with Pharmacy. I hope you like them. If there's anything you would like to have or interested in, just comment. But with uh, in the comment section, I leave my website. You can go straight to my website and order from there. I look forward to working with you. Thanks.